Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim. I'm going to put this up raw. Giving all praises to you. How about Shemiah Shah, about Shemakak And of course, double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this word. And Shalom to the elect. Let's see what these lessons are for. This is a, a video from World Star. It reads Old lady dying of COVID admits to a racist murder decades ago. And it's a TikTok confession. So uh, I'm going to play this right fast. Pause it there. It says, nursing school doesn't prepare you for the number of elderly patients who will casually confess to decade old, decades old murders. Okay? Check this out. I had a woman dying from COVID. Confessing to me. She told me that when she was a teenager, she was her mother that was a local bus boy that touched her behind the grocery store. In 1936, Louisiana, it was a very big deal. Not only was spoiled, but he was beaten. And his genitals were cut off. And then the family home was burned to the ground. And she watched it all happen. You wonder why? Because she saw that his sisters had pretty dresses than she did. But she just didn't like it. So she lied. And I clicked. This same woman had been hallucinating for the past couple of days, saying that there was a black boy in her room watching her, would not stop staring at her, and she was scared shitless. After she could be forgiven, I told her the only person who could forgive her was the boy she killed. Not sorry. Okay. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on over here. To my, my desk, man. I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures, man. Okay, because you know, if you listen closely to what you know they were saying there, what the uh, the nurse was saying, she had an old woman confess to a murder when she was uh, quite younger. She was on her deathbed of COVID, and. Uh, she said when she, in the thirties, she uh, she lied that a black man had touched her, a black boy had touched her, because of um. You know, uh, she said that, she said that because. His sisters had prettier dresses than she did, and she didn't like it, so that that white privilege, you know, was there back then. And uh, what she did was she lied about it. And uh, he got his genitals cut off. He was beaten. He was he was castrated, like I said. And the family home got burned to the ground, you know. And she said at the end, she was hallucinating. And she was seeing that little black boy in her room. Just standing there watching her. You know. You know, judgment is coming for you devils, man. You know. I'm going to just say that. Judgment is coming for all you filthy, you know, goddamn devils, man. Let me just uh, focus right fast on this. This is um Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel 25 and 12, all right? 25 and 12. It says... Thus said the Lord Power, because that Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and has greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Now, you Edomites, you so-called white people, man, you know, you bunch of goddamn Edomites, you, you filthy, filthy scum of the earth, man, okay? You see what I'm saying? It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord. <clears throat> uh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And that's the vengeance that's going to come upon you Edomites, man. Now, when she, when she said that, you know, uh, this woman confessed... It's the same thing with Emma Till. Now, she was on her deathbed and she confessed that Emma Till really didn't do anything to her, man. 
Okay, she lied about it. She made it up. But did they bring her up on charges? Did they say, oh, listen, you uh, you know, you know, she might be a 90 something year old woman, but guess what? Being that you, you, you lied and got this young man murdered, now you have to, you know, be sentenced and go to court and things like that, you know? They didn't do that, okay? Why? Because she's a goddamn Edomite, man, all right? It reads on. Oh, another movie that makes me think about it, which I might th turn that on after uh, this lesson, the movie Rosewood. What happened down there in Rosewood, Florida, man, with Don Cheadle. Check that movie out. These Edomite women, you know, been lying on Jake, getting them in trouble, getting them murdered, getting them lynched, getting them castrated and things like that, man, for many, many years, man. So when that time come for these devils to go down, the Edomite man is going down, the Edomite woman is going down, and, the, and their children are going down too, man. Okay? And I'm going to read it here. It says, uh, And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So the Lord is going to bring vengeance upon Edom by the hand of his people Israel. Now, the lady said that um, she had saw a black boy in her room just looking at her the whole time. So they see that was his spirit. His spirit, you know what I'm saying, was looking at her. You know, the whole time. You know, that's why uh, the, the saints in the, in the heavens, man, are praying to the Heavenly Father to bring vengeance, a vengeance upon, upon our enemies, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's just one case that, you know, that was she confessed to. All right? There's many times in history where these Edomite women have done that to Israelites and, uh, you know, terrible things have happened behind that man which all in all that's up that's all according to the heavenly father's will but guess what they're israelites man you know at the end of this thing they're gonna put you devils into slavery man okay and you are the nations man so vengeance is coming for you edomites man and i could go to a whole slew of scriptures man but i'm not okay you see what i'm saying you brothers know the scriptures it says, uh, it says, and they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. So when that time come, the heavenly father is going to put the spirit on Jacob. When I say Jacob, I'm talking about you 12 tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that happy-go-lucky, loving everybody's spirit is going to leave you. And you're going to smash and dash people against Babies against stones, like it tells you in the book of Psalms, man. Okay, happy, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. You're gonna take and smash these Edomite children's heads up against stones and bust them up, man, for the vengeance of the Lord, man. When the Lord puts his anger upon you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it says, And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, power. And that's the time that's coming, man, and it's near to come. You know, what will I see you on the next one? Shalom.